we love Mexican food and we've tried a lot of Mexican restaurants in Las Vegas, but we have yet to check out Javier's at the Aria. And a lot of people say it's really good. Some people say it's their favorite restaurant in all of Las Vegas. So we're gonna give it a shot and we're gonna try the food and see if it's any good. Let's go inside and have a look. We ordered our food and I also got a margarita, which they have already brought to me. This is the Javier's margarita, so it has Patron Reposado, Grand Marnier. It's a good margarita. Nice and strong, but not too bad. And they brought chips and salsa to the table, so it was nice to see that that is included with the meal. And I want to try some of this. Sauce is fresh, chips are good. The, it's a little spicy, but not too spicy if it's not your thing. It's kind of just right. Just the right amount of kick. All right, so we're still enjoying our chips and salsa waiting for our food, but I wanted to talk about what we ordered and how much it cost. So I got a Cabo Azul, so that's in the seafood area of the menu, and it was $50 at lunchtime. It's going to have a, um, an enchilada, lobster enchilada, a chile poblano that's stuffed with crab, and then a taco with shrimp. Enrique got a carne tapinqueño, and it's like a New York cut, and his also comes with a chicken enchilada. And uh, on the side, he ordered a side of rice. His, uh, the plate was $50 also, and the side of rice was $6. Now, the menu at lunchtime and dinner time is the same. However, it's just a couple bucks more for the dinner menu. So, can't wait to try it all. It sounds so good. All right, I'm so excited to dig into this. The presentation is like on point here. So, this is my enchilada with lobster. There's black beans, white rice, a stuffed chile poblano that has dungeness crab in it. And then over on this side is my shrimp taco. So I think I want to start with this lobster enchilada because it sounds amazing. I know that they use higher quality food here and so I'm really anticipating something delicious. Oh wow, okay. So first of all, I can even taste the quality of the tortilla. You guys know, if you know, you know, right? Like a better quality tortilla, more homemade, a little fresher. The lobster, ooh, is so good. I want to get a little bit more of the sauce flavor though. It's a tomatillo sauce. So tomatillo is typically a little bit more tart than um, like a red enchilada. It's amazing. I'm really happy with that. All right. Now let's move on to this stuffed chile poblano. So this has dungeness crab in it. So think like a chile relleno, right? I mean, relleno is like stuffed. It's, it's filled. Oh, thank you. So let's see here. All right. Okay. Again, you can taste the quality of the crab. This is not like, not made up stuff. This is good quality. Good quality stuff. It's very fresh. The, the actually chili itself is just a little toasted. It's not fried like you see like chile relleno sometimes and I don't really like the fried piece of it. Okay, so now my shrimp taco. Mm. Okay. 
I think I was mistaken. It wasn't a shrimp taco, maybe it was a fish taco. So it's like fried fish in there. And it has a, a really a spicy sauce on top with some cabbage. It's sort of like your Baja fish taco style taco. It's, um, let me try another bite though. Hey, to be honest, like this is good, but I've had this type of taco at restaurants, you know, any Mexican restaurant that has fish tacos. So I think, you know, quality wise and just taste wise and something different, definitely this lobster enchilada and the chile, that stuff. This is black beans. Wow. I don't think I've ever had black beans that tasted so good. I don't know what it is. They must have something that they cook in it. And then just white rice. Good. All right, so Enrique ordered a side of just like Spanish style rice. I like it a lot. It tastes like homemade, which is hard to find in a restaurant. It reminds me a little bit of sopa de fideo. I like it. So now Enrique's steak, ooh la la. That steak looks scrumptious. He has a pinto beans, and then a mole enchilada, and then there's a little taquito there, which I wasn't expecting, and I didn't see that on the menu. So we're gonna have to try that out as well. All right, so Enrique's steak, I'm gonna I cut a little bite. I'm gonna take a taste of the steak. Mm. So he got it medium. It is grilled like, oh, it's actually so delicious. He's gonna be very happy with it. Um, it's tender. The grill taste of the, whatever it was marinated in before they grilled it is really delicious. I'm. I would enjoy that steak if it was all mine. All right, refried beans. Again, the beans are on point at this place. I'm gonna say, I'm impressed. Now this is um, a mole enchilada. Let's see. The mole enchilada is good. But I've had similar ones before. Nothing really unique about it, I would say. And this is just uh, like a taquito. I think it's beef inside of it. I don't remember again seeing it on the menu. It's pretty darn good. Just um, some shredded beef in here that's marinated and has a good flavor to it in a tortilla shell and fried up. It's very good. I'm excited to finish our plate and we'll report out at the end to let you know our final thoughts on Javier's. Well, we finished our food and let me just tell you, it was incredible. You can tell a good Mexican restaurant by its beans and rice. And I'll be honest, like coming into this, being a higher end restaurant, I didn't have high expectations of having good Mexican food. And let me tell you, I was wrong. All the people who said that Javier's was a good restaurant were absolutely right. By the way, the taco was a shrimp taco. It's just that they were fried shrimp in there, so it kind of had that same sort of breading that the fish tacos have, but it was shrimp after all. Anyway, the black beans have me rethinking black beans all together. They were absolutely amazing, and I normally don't like black beans as much as pinto beans, and I like those more than normally I like pinto beans. So, absolutely incredible. The seafood was very fresh. Enrique's steak was well cooked and well seasoned. It was $132 total for a drink and our two entrees. So a little more pricey than we would normally pay, but that's okay. It was worth doing that at least one time, but I think we'll make it a habit to come back when we can because it was that good. So thank you. Javier's is inside of Aria, and if you haven't already seen our video on the Aria, be sure to check in here. So thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.